Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. And where are we? 13th day, 4 in the morning. Carter is already up and eating. I wandered through and picked a few things to either harvest or research. Or we need to get tobacco going. I think uh, we need to we need to get those tobacco pipes up and running. I've been hearing a lot of rumbling behind me lately, so we may have something coming our way soon, not sure. Oh, we can see him a lot better now that, that he's uh, all highlighted and ready to be observed. <laughs> anyway, who's up? Uh, just Carter. Oh, there goes Rita. She's going to grab something to eat. Food looks like... Oh, Carter's reading a story. Okay. Food looks like... Oh, we've got a day's worth sitting in there, so hopefully Rita will get caught up again. Speaking of, our, uh, our corn, our grain is ready for harvest so that's it all just hit a few minutes ago and you are the craziest looking guy <laughs> debating on whether or not to start hunting some of these insect like critters just to i don't know we can turn them into fuel i don't know we'll have to we'll have to think about that probably get a lot of fuel or a lot of bug meat out of this guy but we'll observe them first and make that decision later. Got also an olfin over there set up for observation so he can become official in the game now. And we've got that discovery from the end of last episode. The end of this little valley over here has a lot of resources, especially these guys. If we all came over here at once and Rita just harvested like crazy while others start to haul everything back, Blueberries, in fact, um, it may well be worth uh, uh, go ahead and let others practice doing some uh, harvesting and get their skills up. Um, just wanted to see what's happening here. We are in our 7 o'clock hour. People are taking breaks and getting, uh, getting their recreation in. All right, this kind of worked and kind of didn't. We need something to protect it while we're standing on it but they'll plow through a fence really easy and a fence let me grab that to show you a fence even a good one a bug sitting right here they're not gonna be able to shoot and hit it there's it's just not the right angle there's a good chance that the bug right up against it is just out of their angle <clears throat> unless we had a u-shaped structure well, that only works if they're in the middle of the U. That's true. An H-shaped doubles the chance, depending on whether they're coming in from there or coming in from there. Hmm, let's play a little bit with this. So, everything but the statue. So, can I shift? Yeah. Let's uh, cancel orders and deconstruct. Okay. And we'll let that happen quickly, then I'm play with building some kind of a shape that allows us to move around on it, get into a position to hit that one bug that we can't reach from the position that others are in, and maybe an X is the answer as a temporary structure until we get up into here. And then we got to figure out just how we're going to... Have you guys been eating all of these? I took a look at the first episode again and noticed that there was a whole bunch of these growing right here. And they're not here anymore. Something loves to eat those. But, and I thought at the very beginning there were some of the flatheads out here. But now I'm not sure. Hmm, but you do seem to be in here. And these don't look like they have anything missing on their health bars. So you're just over here enjoying life. Okay. But some kind of a structure there to get us by the next two or three raids, maybe, or attacks. Raids, RimWorld. Um, and then we got to think about what we're going to do long term. Some kind of a chute, some kind of a maze full of traps and with guns shooting from different sides and tower, or places where we can walk up above and shoot down into and, and all of that. But where exactly? I mean, that doesn't even work until we walled everything off. Hmm. So I've got to figure that out. This looks good up here. I don't know how defensive, defendable it is. This may have been a colossal mistake. I don't know. 
or I've seen it done you just they'll just go to where the people are so the survivors so you just build an area that is defensible and every time there's attacks send the survivors to that area and then you deal with it over here instead of everywhere around where you're living trying to wall everything off I don't know we do have five people so there's a little better chance we can get that walling off to happen got a little more help and who knows we might get another one one of these days too I'm seeing something moving independent here I'm marking all these guys for observe just to see if by chance we get one of them uh, in just the right spot for a little bit to observe them but I need someone to take this down and then I'm thinking we're going to make an expedition out here oh there's another big area up in here yeah one person walking out there doing the harvesting and bringing something back is a long walk everybody going and everybody hauling something back that seems a little smarter it wipes out a day yeah of, of uh, um, advancement to our place but it fills the shelves and that much silicon I have a feeling is that much more electronics of some kind because I'm pretty sure that's the uh, it makes sense that that is the foundation for most of the electronic uh, um, we're deconstructing good um, things <laughs> thingies <laughs> um, so we're tearing this we're repairing floor why are we cancel the repair and remove heat wave oh that was quite a, a noise uh, hmm okay well you get why did these get marked for repair cancel okay Carter destroy this thing oh reserved for you can't both do it and you're constructing a or Edmund I don't understand. What are you doing? You're set for deconstruct. You're set for deconstruct. And you're going to take that apart right underneath him. And Okay, this is, this is getting comical. <laughs> but where these ladders come from, I have no idea. Um, that, that, is, that is impressive. Okay, well, let's think about... we got a heat wave to deal with, too. But let's think about this. And I keep doing it over here just because it's near our our bug statue but yeah we could go anywhere with it though it is convenient and close yeah so a shape that is defensible I had thought of a U at first so wood and we'll just do it out of wood for it to try this out um, so if it were there to there uh, Oh, it goes straight into stairs. Okay. So maybe if I hold the shift, we'll see if that works. Copy you to there and then you to there. So if someone's in here attacking anywhere in here, they can run around the other side and shoot across to it. But if they're attacking right here, they can't, they weren't able to shoot straight down unless they were lower. I think lower they would be able to. The angle improves. Hmm. So if we instead did something like... Oh, let's see here. Uh, housing, floor, wood. And some kind of an X. How would you do it? A bunch of these. And then... Well, it seems like a, a waste, but from there, wherever they hit, except for maybe, well, even right here, you can get over there and shoot, shoot them. Good area in the middle to get to if things start to collapse all around, if it's a much bigger attack than, than we have ever experienced. This is kind of a neat design, but I would widen that up by one more to match that. Let's, let's play with this. Let's do this. Um, let's get rid of these. Cancel. And housing floor. Now, soil floor integrity 20 versus integrity 70. Scrap metal integrity 40. Stone. 
We do have it. I just don't want to use it for something that we haven't tested to see if we like it. But, oh, I just realized. 70 and 70. Oh, they're the same. We got lots of wood right now. Let's go with wood. Okay, so two spaces right there. Actually, it's four. And then two spaces in the middle. So there we go. There, there. And there's a repeat of this. And then there, there. And then same thing there. And there. So that gives us twos and nice and wide, whichever direction they're coming in from. We can all get out on one end and defend here. We can move around to catch the ones that are directly under our feet or over here. It's kind of an interesting structure. Um, I didn't go high enough, but I wanted to see it. So, okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> well... That's what I came up with. Let's let that one run. In fact, uh, guys, why don't you... Uh, you're incapable of constructing any of these. Okay, so Carter, where'd you go? Where did you go? Carter, how far... You got... Oh, you got it as far as here. There you are. Okay. Let's have you just bring all those logs right back here. But this gives us a place in the middle, wings to walk out to, to shoot in different directions, a barrier to protect the base of where we're standing for just a little bit longer, a gate to get in from this side or this side, depending on which side we're coming in from, or we fall off the structure and have to get back in again, and a roof for flying bug attacks. What do you think? We'll give that one a run. It's not going to last forever. It's it's uh, it's enough for the next few rounds until it gets worse and worse. And then we're going to have to be in something a lot more permanent. This is all wood. But um, I see the shadow. Big shadow. I don't see the bird. I want to flag him for research. There. So if he's there, flying that direction, the sun is over here. He's right about here. He must be above me still. He's not coming into my view. <laughs> oh well, it was worth a try. I like seeing an airplane shadow going by. But, um, you guys are going to do that? We have a heat wave coming in. What does that mean? Outside temperatures are 46 degrees higher than usual during this disaster. Crops grow more slowly and start losing health if the temperature becomes intolerable. Okay, well, we did ask Paulette to work on the hats first, and she has been doing it. We have two hat boxes on the shelf, and I suppose... Well, Simon, you're under a, a roof all the time. So, Edmund, you start with a hat, a uh, quilt of straw hat. And Carter, I guess you should as well. You're the two that are going to be outside the most. Um, get him to a better angle here. Carter, come on out and do that as well. So you two do that, and Reed will be, will be uh, grabbing the next hat. Paulette and Simon are probably going to be under roofs a lot more often. And unfortunately, there's no way to cool them down. I don't even have a, a roof, a room to dive into over here with a roof on it yet. So cooling is not a thing right now. We didn't get this last round, last summer, last uh, series when we built this the first time. So it is it is pretty random and it can happen anywhere, anytime. So Carter's going to go back to constructing those. Rita is going to go harvest these. Great, because she has made all the food that she can make. Veggie and meat soup and there's, there's we need grain cob for the rest of those recipes. Any other recipes available now? I haven't checked in a while. So hot drinks, we still have just the one. Uh, back quick recipes we've got all three queued up any more tasties no and chefs we do have fruit cakes now and it takes grain cob just like the rest okay let's queue up four or five of those until and it'll be in the list um, musical instruments Ooh. okay so maybe tomorrow we're at 
one in the after no 11 in the morning me tomorrow we'll dive out there and attack that but right now i think it would be best to go ahead and get uh, a good start on this structure At the very least if we can get half of it built it'll be better than nothing but let's get let's get at least that half going uh, musical instruments right here people have played music since the beginning of time we can surely make some instruments with the materials we have at our disposal let's do that leisure just jumped up into a didgeridoo which is i think i'm picturing it this is kind of our leisure center over here um let's see i want to get there that's the angle i want okay so you come in from there and i think we'll do two of those i think that's going to be kind of oh they both can they both stand in the same place i don't know let's do hmm let's do that and then let's see where my leisure hand pan is over here okay so we can get at least three of the five on instruments at the same time. Um, leisure, anything new? Statue, punching pole needs leather, and that is everything. All right, that's in the list. Don't know who's going to do it. Edmund, you are, I assume you're up here, constructing a fireplace. You can do stone things. What else can you do? You need to get to, I think, construction level five. Construction, oh, you're at a zero, okay. But you can construct a didgeridoo at a zero. Okay, but you can't put logs together to make a floor. <laughs> I guess anything that has structural integrity has to be done just right. You're constructing a fence. What if I had you do a floor instead? Like that floor. Yeah, let's get, well, Let's not lock ourselves out by building the fence first. That makes sense to me. Simon's eating. Rita is bringing in or making available a lot of grain cob. These guys are cooking, right? Yeah, they're going to take their time, though. So 16% done. You were the first one, so 13% done. And that was, I don't know, a couple of hours difference in time. So it's, it's going to take a while. Um... Simon is eating. Now he's going to research... Is that Edmund? Yeah. Electronics. I'm curious about something. Edmund, you come on over here and research. Simon, research. Can we both research the same thing at the same time? So, 4%. I'm waiting to see if that is moving up at a 5%. It's, it seems to be working. I don't know what it would have been. Uh, two days max. Oh, okay. This would have taken two days. Rita's hit farming seven. Great. Yet we're already 10% done. So two people researching is a great thing. Um, Edmund, I don't need you to do that at the moment. Um, boy, it'd be nice if you were to keep cutting trees, though. So that uh, Carter can keep building that. That's probably the best use of an Edmund right now. How you doing otherwise? You really could use some relaxation. You're about to get all cranky pants on us. How are you? Risk of meltdown. Well, you're stressed out and you're relaxation deprived. Let's just go one round of... I know, you would love to play that didgeridoo, wouldn't you? One round of appreciating no fuel. Okay, can we appreciate this one? no fuel so that doesn't work anymore you can play darts uh right there and then you can head over and take these trees down cut that one cut those two and perhaps get way back over there and i don't think i went as far as i wanted to but that gets the idea across so you are going to relax a little bit your food was fine right yeah fine enough but your happiness is dropping. All right, so Rita is now going to make a pie from the grain cob that she just picked up. Do we have coffees in stock? And where are those listed? They're listed with others. So we have one coffee left. So Rita, when you're 
done. Good, I can still do it. Bring in a coffee. Or toss coffee into the list. Get two jobs out of you. Have you eaten lately? You'll probably need a meal after that. Or you might just ignore my orders and get a meal anyway. But she went and did a harvesting job. Then she went back to her number one. Yep, it seems like things are working again. Carter's going to construct a floor. I assume he went up upstairs, up top, and grabbed some, some uh, wood off the ground up there. We have 170 wood in stock somewhere. I don't know how much he's carrying of that 170. I guess we'll see it disappear as he walks around. Well, yeah, and Simon must have taken down a tree, or Edmund must have taken down a tree, so it went both directions. But yeah, he is, uh, he is taking our wood. In fact, Carter, now can I have you build this one? And let's just... Oh, you, you had one with you still. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was just hoping he would just bring purple in all over the place here and, and start to fill all this in. Good, he's going to do that. If we can get purple into this whole half, then he can just sit there and construct. You are unrelaxed. Okay, I'm working you guys pretty hard right now, aren't I? Um, Rita, when you are available, so your next job is to go and equip a straw hat. And there's a beanie there because Edmund was wearing a beanie and now he's wearing a straw hat. Okay. And then Simon, when you're done, you can grab the other straw hat. Actually, you can do that now. Yeah, you can go do that now. So everyone's got a straw hat, which does what specifically? Paulette, let's use you as a guinea pig. Um, I would be here. So your heat tolerance is now 98 degrees. We're up to 89, so tomorrow's probably going to get hotter. Just the beginning of the heat wave, and we're getting into the evening. So that's a start. It may not be good enough, but it's a start. You're working now on... Oh, Rita's going to equip that, which means she didn't make the coffee? Or did she? No, she just made these. One of two. And there's no bar, so it's acting like it's done. Rita is getting more. Okay, so it's ready to be hauled out of the stove, apparently. Okay. So buttermelon pie. And it may be a while before we get down to that coffee, naturally. But it might be wise. Let's let you bring this stuff in just to have it in place but let's instead have you make coffee so it is oh you grab the grain okay so you are handling the cook stove is the coffee happening it is all right you need 10 more grain okay so get the coffee going that way when they get to the end of their day and they got nothing left they'll sit down drink a coffee and then okay, we'll get a little more work out of them through the evening Okay, like Carter, who's hauling these logs back and forth. He is not going to be happy tonight. I know that. Paulette is tailoring. That's where I never got to finish that. <clears throat> Paulette is tailoring what? Shoes. Sneakers. Sneakers. Cold tolerance. No change to heat tolerance, but it does give us more cold tolerance. More than bare feet, I suppose. So the other choice for shoes was... Uh, boots which gave us heat it decreased the heat tolerance so it's, it's you don't want to wear boots in the summer but summer shoes will add 39 degrees to your heat tolerance for the summertime so they're lightweight and airy yeah um, what else is happening Rita is harvesting while the coffee is cooking don't make that mistake again and all kinds of pluses stacking up for Edmund here. He had a great time with that meal. <laughs> Carter, how you doing? We're looking pretty good here. All right, constructing the floors. Then I suppose you'll, you're will you going to insist on making those fences. So there's no point in stopping you, huh? Yeah, just let you build your fences. So we will be close enough of a structure here before too long. You're going to go grab berries to eat so I guess as we discover new things I have to go back in and say including these raw foods no raw foods 
fruits are triggered because this came in after we made the orders. No raw foods on. Nobody else has fruits. Why did it do it for Carter? Don't know. You're going to grab a real meal this time. And the real meal is going to give you happiness. And you kind of need that because you're probably recreation deprived at the moment. Um, Rita, I know you're enjoying that, but that's driving me nuts. How about... You probably won't, won't even uh, plant, cut, cancel. You're going to say, yeah, I'm already harvesting this. What are you, what are you talking about? So, uh, clean up the end. Then we can replant the end and then go back and harvest those. But yeah, I guess that's just my logic, not yours. All right. What is that? Uh, we cut all these bushes down. We've got to haul all that. Okay. So nothing's happening up here right now. We do have the a lot of the wood hauled in. The walls are stocked and ready to be built. This guy is hes kind of guarding the area up here. He's, he's our supervisor. He's been uh, watching the construction. That's uh, his or her mate over there. Yeah. We're going to have to name them, aren't we? <laughs> I just don't know how the game works with uh, sudden uh, attacks. Remember in RimWorld, all of a sudden, all of the squirrels on the map would go rabid and attack you at once. And you're, you're thinking, why didn't I hunt those squirrels while they were, you know, while, while we had time to so go out there and just, you know, take them out here and there. All of a sudden, 60 of them, and they're all coming. Uh, I don't know if I want flatheads just kind of supervising our construction at the time. I don't know. Something, hopefully that doesn't bite us in the butt later. We've made all the instruments. Will you look at that? Carter and Edmund. Um, son and dad, right? You guys like each other a little bit more now? You like at 29. I think that's about where it was before, like Edmund. Edmund, you still, yeah, negative 19. Now, it's not, well, okay, it's Carter, but it says son of Carter. I guess that just means Carter. Not that son of is a special designation beyond just informing us of what's going on. Probably so. But, yeah, they, they get along, they work well enough, they just don't really care for each other at the moment. That'll probably change over time. Paula's tailoring shoes, which are going to help in the end, but not necessarily going to help us right now. In fact, let's think about that. Um, our shoes are still decent for a while. What could you be working on instead that would help us out? Those shoes are going to help us in the winter a little bit, so they're not a loss. Trousers. Uh, back to that, just pass over. Trousers will not help us in the summertime either. A sweater definitely won't. Coats won't either. That's what I've queued up. So, by the time we queue up summer clothes, this heat wave will probably be done. We're at 77 outside and comfortable. Everybody's got a hat. So, that means everybody is what? Good till 105, 98, 122. Rita. You have a jacket on. Should we be telling you to take the jacket off? I mean, she's... Her heat tolerance is really good. Even though she's wearing a jacket. What gives there? I don't understand. It gives her more blunt protection, too. Simon is a heat tolerance all the way up to 100. 22. He's got a spaceship jacket, so that helps. But this jacket here hurts, and yet your your your, your numbers are great. Paulette has one. Why is she only 98? I don't know. There's there's more going on here than I gave credit for. All the heat tolerances are red. They're all uh, harmful, and yet. Huh. Well, let's see if we don't get much beyond 98 degrees, but we probably will. A uh, heat wave is in the hundreds, typically. Rita is doing more harvesting because we have plenty of foods. 
we let's go to coffees. We have six coffees, and they were cooking for quite a while. We don't have any grain porridges. So here, we're queued up to make more of these because they're at the top. Let's put porridge back up, like so. Awaiting materials. So if I click the stove now, yeah, so it switched over. That's what's queued, and that's what it needs to do it. And we have in stock now already 490. Okay. So if I were to grab Rita and say, don't harvest anymore, leave it in the ground where it won't rot. And let's go ahead and cook some grain porridge. Yeah. Uh, you're going to pick up what you need. Is there a chance you'll pick up more? Simon is researching. Carter's going to sleep. Good. You're going to pick it all up. That is nice. The game's smart enough to do that. She only needed 10 to make that porridge, but she picked up a whole bunch. 490 becomes... Never mind. That's everything, including what's on the ground. So I don't know what she picked up. Anyway, what got done out here? Carter went to sleep, and we got one-fourth done, and a lot of materials hauled. So it is possible this is a two-day thing and is finished. Okay. I want to go do that trip out there. We could... Edmund went to sleep. Going to sleep. You need it? You kind of. I could get a little more work out of you. If we can get more wood on the ground, then we could leave Carter behind. All the rest of us go on our expedition. And let Carter continue to construct. That way we get two things done at once. So, Edmund, why don't you give Carter some more wood to, uh, to work with tomorrow? And let him just build like crazy while the rest of us are off there harvesting all those goods. How are our shelves looking as far as goods? Got plenty of room here, plenty of room here. As we get closer to filling up one side or the other, we could double up. We could, you know, make the copy to each other so they both carry the same thing. It's things like um, the... Well, I, I call it tobacco. It was a smoke leaf, yeah. Smoke leaf, when it came off the rack, it was filling up shelves like crazy. And the cotton, not so much. It, it does hold 100 at a time, it appears. Uh, Rita's going to sleep. Is that everyone but Edmund? It is. And he takes us down pretty fast. So he won't be up. Well, we are kind of late. Two in the morning already. I didn't realize it was that late. So Rita gave us almost two days worth of food. Okay. So we can do without her cooking tomorrow and be fine. Edmund's going to drop this last tree and transport to... Um, yeah, don't transport. Just break and go to bed. Go to sleep, yeah. Leave it on the ground so Carter can grab it tomorrow. All right, so you go to sleep. You're a fast sleeper, so it won't take you that much time. And is this still the first day? It is. Oh, because I spent a lot of time. I'm wondering what my... Recording time is so long already because I spent a lot of time um, off camera. Okay, we're going to go for two days, and I'm pretty sure this is still the first day of this episode. I think I've spent a lot of time paused. Is that it? <laughs> um, it was day 13, right? Gotcha. I think it was day 13, so we're we're into day 14 now. You, you, you are so hard to grab. You are really hard. There you are. Observe you. <laughs> I keep doing that. Oh, wait a minute. No, I was thinking if I just did a, a whole bunch of these things, he'll find one of them. But I forgot that swaps and trades. You can only have one of them clicked at a time. I clicked the, the flying insect over here. And the one that was over here must have turned off. Of course, he's not here anymore. There he is. Yeah. So I can't just keep clicking on him. If I do that, he now turned off. So we can only observe one of them. 
Okay, so me trying to give them lots of choices is just making it worse because I'm grabbing ones that are too far away. Okay, never mind. I was just wondering if Simon would go take a walk and then get triggered and just go quickly observe one of these and be done and then go back in and then we'd, we'd have a kind of a surprise coming our way. But you guys are sleeping. What else is there to do right now? Well, I guess we'll just let them wake up and start writing their own story. They'll tell us what they're going to do. Carter is going to go start assembling things. And he does have some wood up there. Do we, we still have 137 wood somewhere. Um, Edmund just got 60. So there's still more on the ground at some, some place. Let's see if I can find one of those and double click. No, that didn't quite work out. Not falling trees. What did Edmund just cut down? There. So pull it back. Double. Now that's 90 of it. So it's around here somewhere. It may be on the ground over here. It may, some of it might not uh, register as being, who knows. Okay, so you're going to do all that. Everyone else, I want you to get your, uh, your relaxation taken care of. Um, maybe we can get Edmund. How are you doing on food? You need to eat. Okay. I'm just going to have you first thing, maybe. Yeah, how about first thing? Can you write uh, there, there may not be time to write a uh, write a story. Oh, you're already relaxed. It wouldn't let me. Wait a minute. Edmund, yeah, you're maxed out. You just need food and you're done. All right, you guys play the didgeridoo and have a ball. Um, you're eating. Paulette doesn't... Yeah, she could use some relaxation. Let's send you over to enjoy the, uh, the hand pan. Yeah, spend a little time with Simon over there. Make sweet music together. Carter is taking a walk. Carter is actually in pretty good shape. A walk is probably all that he needs. Yeah, look at how quickly it's going up just from, just from taking the walk. Whoa, hello. <laughs> and Edmund is cutting. All right, so... You observe. That's a closer one. Are we... Rita is getting. Okay, you make this one and then we're all going to leave. So let's pop over here and make a plan. I'd say, actually, let's just hit harvest. Let's harvest all of you. And for that matter, let's grab a bunch of berries while we're at it. Okay, we'll do it that way. So 46 harvest. And I suppose we could cut some trees. Uh, turn you off, turn you off. Need some more of these, but they're about to uh, be harvestable over in our farm. We, yeah, we could cut some trees while we're, well, do I leave Edmund behind? No, I don't think so. Let's just concentrate on, on food and silicone at the moment. Okay, so back over here, Paulette is back to tailoring so she's in good shape there rita could use a little more relaxation all right i'll give you a little more time here put that on a shelf and transporting you're going to these shelves because that was our backup food shelf okay and let's have you play the hand pan and otherwise simon is he could use a meal at this point so let's have him grab some porridge simon right there there we go eat some grain porridge and edmund you're going with us and you're already in great shape so once he eats and she plays everybody will be unbreakable and we can we can all head out over there it's a long walk so carter's back to constructing he is going to be great without us he can hold down the fort and if things go horribly wrong and we get an attack they tend to wait about six hours before they make the attack anyway that would give us all time to get back and here are the the shrooms that are ready to be harvested all right so playing the hand pan you've already eaten your relaxation is great okay paulette rita simon edmund all of you draft you will get there much faster if i 
order you to march double speed, double time. Everyone head up over here. Is there anything else of value in here that I'm not thinking of? We do have a lot of somethings out over here. Maybe another expedition, or what I'm calling an expedition. Not quite what the game calls an expedition. Any new bugs over here? No. No new plants that I don't recognize. Uh, no, I think we're... Yeah. Simon ought to get here first, right? Strange he didn't. Edmund is... I wonder if Draft cancels the... Well, not necessarily. Rita's really taking her time. Simon's got the fastest run, so I thought. Edmund, you don't have that as well. You just have the quick sleeper. Okay. Everybody head in here, and all the rest of you can harvest blueberries, and we'll have Rita harvest the silicon, just to make sure that the most important one gets done correctly. So with this, you two, Undraft, Simon, I'll probably have to wait a minute, yeah, Simon, oh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to fight you, aren't I? I may, yeah, you harvest all of that, Edmund, you harvest all of that, not assigned to the activity, but you'll do it anyway, oh, you absolutely hate farming, oh, I was going to give you a huge negative. You can cut trees today. You cut 27 is pretty good. Let's just queue up some trees. You can be doing something you're willing to do and cut. That's uh, 120. I've seen Carter carry 180 before. So cut, cut, and eh, we'll throw in a throw in you a 20 cut. So in that case, Edmund. Why don't you cut trees, cut tree, and that one right, observe, cut. Okay, you do that instead. Now you don't have your negative 18. These two are running in. When you get there, we'll have you, that is a, that is a big creature. It's like a, I don't know, like an ox in size. Paulette, you're going to undraft, and you are going to harvest these. And Rita, you... I won't stop you till you get there, because you run faster this way. Let's you undraft and harvest all of these. All 21? Do that again, right there. 22. Boom. Okay, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4. The noise was we're changing the amount of wood that we owe. Yeah, that's our, our debt right now, 631. You'll be cutting it down as fast as Carter will be dragging it out of the woods over there and putting it in, and so this is going to be a tug of war for a while. But we have all kinds of... Edmund reached physical four, good. All kinds of... Um... Yeah, that, that, that sentence just left my mind. <laughs> Carter, how you doing? You are just having a ball. Can you, I'm curious, get these built? Yeah, go grab the, if I do it again, will you grab the wood that's right next to you? Construct. Okay, do that. Okay, scythe, 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 chop. Don't let those change. Uh, Edmund reached opportunity distillation. <laughs> moonshine time, you know. I used to make the strongest moonshine back at home. How I miss those times. Getting my basement raided by the coppers and such. Uh, anywho, I reckon we have the materials to make a distillery here. And, and we most certainly have enough grain. Let's get cracking, huh? wonder what triggered that. Maybe just the number of days. I don't know. Why not? So that just gave us free... Oh, researched past tense. When we got the notice for the veggie leather armor, it didn't say researched. It said research available. So that was an additional research to the research desk. 
but this one is already done. Though we can't expect to replicate perfect lab conditions here, it is entirely possible to build a simple distillation device and use it to produce various refined substances. Mm-hmm. So refined sub- oh, so sweet syrup can come out of grain now. That's why we didn't see that before. Okay, so you can get the sweet syrups from grain through distillation, or you can get it from the heptagonias by harvesting. Okay, two options to get the same thing, which is nice. It really is. It's well thought out. There's, those are some important ingredients, and not every map is going to include these guys, I'm guessing. So there is another way to accomplish the same goal. Anyway, Carter, you toss those in and go grab some more logs. You guys are all behaving. You're constructing a floor. Okay, so when you're done with that, go get some more wood. All right, keep those floors being built. We might need them soon. Over here, is everybody still busy? As soon as someone breaks to start hauling, I want to give them a new harvesting job. Though I don't know how much is going to be here as far as what we can carry. We'll see. We may have to send somebody on a long walkabout to... Uh, to bring back the few things we couldn't carry. But it'd be worth it. We're gonna have a lot of food come out of this. So Simon had a failed harvest. That's what I was wondering, if they were capable of botching it. So probably has happened more times than, uh, than we know. I just weren't here to watch it. Rita will get it right every time, but Simon has failed twice since we've been here. Mm-hmm. Harvesting, 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 and Edmund, where are you now? You're over there. I'm waiting for someone to to say they're done harvesting and just want to start transporting, and then we're going to stop them. How are we doing otherwise? Um, harvesting, we're in good shape there. Oh, Carter is. Yeah, there's no red flags except for, for Edmund's going to be hungry soon. Still harvesting, everybody, still cutting, and Simon is now transporting logs, and that's fine. Let him get all these logs. Hopefully he, he finds all of them, though. I want him to load up big time, so we're going to very carefully walk him through the forest and hopefully get them all. I see some right there now. Where am I? I think most of them was right in here. So if you can get in close to the 160 mark. There's your last group, 140. You got another group over here. You shifted your direction. Now, let me peek in here. Any other logs around? Nope, oh, right there. So if I tell Simon or Edmund to haul wood, will you... Oh, you left some over here too. Where will you go before I lose one of the other ones? Paulette, she's transporting 200. I've seen them carry 240 before. But it's possible that she has a, a lesser carry weight than others. Okay. Simon is harvesting among the last ones. Edmund is picking up less wood this time. So let's just keep playing this game. Oh, you're at 140 now. And I think you're done. So if I tell you to haul one more time, kind of restack all this stuff on your shoulder and see what you can pull off. So are we missing anyone? No, nope, just Paulette. Okay, we're fine. And you're now transporting. And you're getting your last ones. Your 140 is all you're going to handle. Okay, so we'll come back for the rest of the wood. Uh, transporting 100, 160, 220. I think we got a pretty good load coming out of this. Can I see more? There's out of that 70. That's we have four and 100, 180. So we have one more trip of berries. Um, I don't see any more silicon. I think we got it all. All right, that was the most important. And we have some more wood, and we have some more berries. All right, so in that case, let's cancel the harvest orders. Though we do need to make one more trip back tomorrow, so I'll put that in my notes, to come pick up the berries and the wood. All right, so everyone's on their way back, and I call that a successful trip. Bunch more supplies are in. Foods, we're gonna lose five meals really quick. So, but we'll lose them at night, so they won't be that hungry tomorrow morning for breakfast. That should give Rita time. In fact, she might even have time yet tonight. Well, 
we'll see what condition. Yeah, she's she's got to get a meal, and then she'll be fine to cook another round or two. Okay, Carter, you are handling a campfire. Okay. I mean, you got... You're close to getting more than halfway done. So one more day, well, day and a half. We got the roof to, to think about, too. That's another group of wood. But it's it's looking pretty good. We, at the very least, can get up on top of here and shoot in different directions around if we get raided, like, first thing in the morning. Okay, that's good. And nobody else could help you anyway. I mean, we weren't uh, harming ourselves by doing that side job because you have to be a... A uh, higher level constructor. You are where right now? Um, five. So, I think it said not a construction level five on Edmund. Is that, did I read that right? I think so. You are, will this go away when this is done? I'm going to guess that is the case. Distillation should have given us something new to deal with here. Production, yeah. So, distillery. All right, so that's a significant uh, item there. A distillery. Let's put you back behind like that. Sure. So you're there to be built. Don't know what construction skill level is needed to do this, but you transform grain into syrup. And there were other things that it could do that I've already lost. So if I go here and research and completed. How do I find... There. There and distillation so grain into whatever that is maybe that's alcohol and then grain into syrup and then wood and then it to build it it's it's uh, sticks and alloy okay alloy we've got 25 alloy ah uh, we need to get somebody out there to research the ores that needs to be next episode. We need to send Simon out that way and get those ores researched so that when Carter finishes here, maybe he and Edmund can both get over there and mine all that and bring it back. While someone else goes over there and brings back those supplies. Rita's still transporting. Paula's still transporting. Simon just got here. And Edmund is already here and eating. So these guys are going to share a meal. Are they going to have a little conversation? Now with everyone wearing the same hat, they all kind of look the same. <laughs> But you got some porridge in, you've got some veggie soup in, you got a quick meal and food variety, and you're happy. And this is Edmund. He's going to do what? He's going to go to bed. Rest of 48% and it's 2300. Is there anything else I could get you to do? Hate to keep uh, taxing you like that, but you can handle it. So. Let's have you take down just one more tree before you go to bed. You're already this part of the map anyway, so you're not that far away. Rita's coming in. She's going to eat, and she's going to go to bed too. So Paulette is eating. Simon's gone to bed. He's, he's done. He's had it. And, yeah, that's all I'm going to get out of them today. Carter's going to bed too. It's time. Um... Just wondering if I should eliminate that. They're going to bed because of that. Not necessarily because they're exhausted. Let's do that. See what that does. So Edmund cut that tree. I need to make sure he doesn't add that to the house. Yeah, so you leave that for Carter. Later you can drop them and put them directly in the house. So right now I need wood for these floors and that roof. So, Rita's eating, everybody else has gone to bed, our, uh, our mascot, Kite, is settling in for the night, and, yeah, you just, just snuggled in and starting to sleep. I think I'm going to be doing that too here soon, it's kind of late in uh, Ramblerville. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good time to call this one done. They're, they're settling in. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.